Hey everybody, I'm here to talk to you about the AB blood type. And the AB blood type is the most modern blood type there is. It's only about 9,000 to 10,000 years old, and it is only 2.5% of the population. So some specifics about the AB blood type is that they can actually manufacture more specific antibodies to microbial infections. Um, they have a less chance of autoimmune disease, arthritis, inflammation, and lupus. Uh, they do have a greater risk of cancers because the body responds to anything A-like or B-like as self. So it doesn't manufacture as many antibodies as other blood types. So ABs can tend to be very complex, and a lot of times they're somewhat unsettled. So the immune characteristics which make the stronger and some which are in conflict. So sometimes AB blood types can have delicate offspring between the tolerant A and then we consider it a barbaric B. So remember, when we talk about foods, highly beneficial foods, they act like medicine. Uh, neutral foods are foods that act like food and then avoid foods are what acts like poison. So looking at foods that are very beneficial are lean red meats, turkey, chicken and pork are just absolute no's. We never ever want to eat those. Seafood uh, is good for like edible snails and things like that. They're really good for preventing breast cancer and sickle cell. No crab or oysters or shrimp or anything of that nature. Dairy is fine if it's cultured. So yogurt, kefir are great. Um, Eggs are good too, but definitely cut back on dairy and eggs if you're someone who tends to have kind of sinus issues because those can enhance the sinus congestion. Everybody should be doing olive oil. It's a great fat for the body. And you can also do canola oil, but we wanna stay away from coconut oil, corn oil, sunflower and safflower oil. Um, we definitely want nuts such as walnuts, peanuts, um, peanut butter is very good but no pumpkin or poppy seeds. Beans, we can do a ton of beans, just really not black beans or garbanzo beans. Those are not very beneficial. If you wanna do grains, grains are fine if they're in the form of Ezekiel bread, oatmeal, rice or millet. No buckwheat, no corn, no popcorn, which I know is so many people's favorites. We can definitely do a lot of veggies. And veggies are very important for an AB because we want to look at cancer prevention and heart disease prevention. So you definitely need them because of your tendency to a weaker immune system. But we're not going to do avocados or corn, black olives, pickles. Those are not very beneficial to you, but pretty much any other vegetable is fine. Fruits, you want to look at more alkaline fruits. So we're going to go like grapes, um, plums, berries. You can also do things that have a lot of vitamin C to them because they help to clear mucus from the immune system. But no oranges, no bananas, mangoes are an out. Juices and different uh, drinks that you may do. Hot water with lemon every morning helps to cleanse the mucus that forms while you are sleeping. And it definitely aids in elimination. So if you're an AB blood type, uh, definitely do hot water with lemon in the morning and you should be drinking lemon throughout the day in your water as well. Black cherry juice or cranberry juice or grape juice are great. Green tea is very good. You can even do some red wine. Just definitely stay away from coffee, sodas, liquor. You can do tons of spices, but really you don't want to do a lot of vinegars because they're very acidic. Um, we also say no pepper with the spices. That's not very beneficial to you either, but you can use a lot of garlics. Garlics are a tonic for you. They're great antibiotics. Even horseradish or parsley, those are awesome. Horseradish is also great for sinus congestion. Um, no guarana. So guarana and caffeine are very negative for you. So you want to stay away from those things. And um, even allspice and tapioca are big no-nos. So I want to talk about a few um, issues that, that AB blood types have and kind of what supplements we're working on with that. So, you know, strengths of an AB blood type you're very rare. You are different. Um, sometimes you're introverted, but you're very loyal people. And they tend to have sensitive digestive tracts, over-tolerant immune systems, which allows for all these microbial invasions to occur. And 
Um, some of the medical risks can be blood clots, um, vulnerable to gastrointestinal issues, ear, eye, and respiratory infections, allergies, cancer, and heart disease. So some exercises you want to think about incorporating into your life are things like Tai Chi, hiking, cycling, tennis. A lot of things are beneficial that are outside for you, getting some vitamin D and some fresh air that's very beneficial to you. But a lot of times we talked about people who have um, uh, sinus issues being an AB blood type. So one of my favorite products for people that have sinus issues as an AB is called Seasonal Defense. So Seasonal Defense has something called bitter orange in it. And I love that because it's great at uh, preventing sinus issues. But this also has oregano in here. So once again, this is great for the immune system and it's gonna prevent a lot of these issues for microbial invasions, viral infections, and types of issues like that. So Seasonal Defense is one of my favorites for an AB blood type. And we did talk about eating fruits that are high in vitamin C. And sometimes I think that vitamin C is just important to take anyways. So vitamin C is very good for people um, who maybe have a higher risk of cancer. And because ABs do have slightly higher risk of cancer, um, vitamin C is beneficial to definitely help prevent that. So I think vitamin C should be on your list of an everyday supplement for you. Um, ABs have a tendency towards heart disease. So hawthorn berries is great for protecting the heart. If you've ever seen a hawthorn berry before, it has four chambers and that's why it resembles the heart and we know it's great for the heart. Um, it increases the last elasticity of your arteries um, and it also can help lower blood pressure if that's an issue for you. So hawthorn berries is a phenomenal product to prevent heart disease, but also take care of the heart if you even have high blood pressure um, or any type of heart disease issues, okay? Uh, for the stress, I have two different products here, okay? So one of my favorites is just a straight B complex, and we use B complex because it promotes a, val a balanced stress response. So if we're someone who has a lot of stress in our life, the B complex will help to calm the nerves. And this has every B vitamin you need in it at its maximum capacity and works phenomenal. I have another product and I call this my herbal B complex. So this one's called nerve control. So this is a little bit different than B complex because this is all herbs. But what I love about this is for people who even have a little bit of nerve pain or their body tends to ache a little bit more, I think nerve control works a little differently. So this will help you handle your stress, but it also helps handle the stress on the body a little bit better and helps with the pain a little bit better. And then we know that we can have some digestive issues. And so because of that, Protease Plus is one of my favorite digestive enzymes that you can take. So this helps to break down protein compounds, but this is also working on viral, bacterial, and parasite action that may be happening in the gut. So Protease is a great digestive enzyme for you to take and you should do it in between meals, that's my opinion, but some people do take it with food, but I think it works a little bit better in between meals. So Protease Plus is your enzyme of choice here as an A, B. One other thing I wanna talk about too is, because we have issues sometimes as an AB um, digesting certain fats, we may have to work on the liver a little bit. So one of my favorite things to work on the liver is castor oil packs. So you can take castor oil, and just rub it over your liver area um, and your gallbladder area too and put a heating pad over it. So if you're someone who ever gets some tenderness under their right rib, I think that's a great way to help with that and it helps to flush any excess fat you may have lying around. Um, one of my other favorite products to work with for the liver is milk thistle combination. And milk thistle combination gives you milk thistle, but some other herbs such as dandelion that help to re, uh, well, I kind of say 
reestablish what the liver is doing. So it can process the fat better. It can help the gallbladder move the fat a little bit better so it doesn't have to put out, put out as much lipase or put out as much insulin to digest some of the fats that are coming in. And by doing that, then we will make sure that your liver and your gallbladder are always pushing the fat out so we don't end up with a fatty liver disease or someone who has gallstones, and more yet, even heart disease. So remember, to prevent heart disease, we also need to make sure our body is processing the fats. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you for visiting Natural Blondes, and we will see you soon. Thank you.